Good morning. We got pretty hard frost here this morning. In a couple of months, I'm not gonna have to fight frost on my windshield. So is this the week? It might be. Um, the weather looks great for now. We've, we've even got some sunshine outside here this morning. Things look better. Here's our, here, check, check, check out our forecast here. It's, um, well, promising. Let's put it that way. So um, we'll see at the plan at the moment, and kind of our guess, is looking at Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we need to be at Berkey doing beans. Um, Hopefully things have firmed up enough by then that we can get across some fields. Maybe on Thursday we'll try and run some beans up here. We've got these double crops across the road that that ground should be fairly firm because it was the no-till. We no-tilled the double crop beans. We no-tilled the wheat. It hasn't been worked up in a very long time. So uh, that's kind of the thought process right now. The Berkey crops are high priority. The corn's starting to go down a little bit. They're very good crops down there, and we need to go get them as soon as possible. So... Um, we'll see. We've got a couple of days here of decent weather, let things dry out, and then it gets better towards the end of the week with more sunshine. It is chilly and cool. We're not getting much heat. So things don't really dry out, but they do drain. Our tile are working and uh, it should firm up by the end of the week. As for my plans, the next couple of days here, um, our Draper should be on its way today sometime, I assume, if not today, tomorrow. So that'll be cool. Um, I am going to do some work down at my house, I think. And so plan here this morning is to run down to Berkey, uh, just to take a look at things, see where we're at with everything. And I need the tires or the wheels off of our scaffolding that is down there. Uh, Dad's probably done working on the barn here for the fall until next summer. So um, I'm going to get those tires off of that scaffolding. I've got a couple of sections of it set up back there by my house already that we brought back a month or so ago. Um, and I think I'm going to get a drywall lift so that I can hang that drywall in my garage on the ceiling and just do a little work in there. We'll get some uh, wiring run. I've got some lights uh, ordered that should be here in a couple of days and we can get the drywall hung and get a ceiling in there. That would be that would be fantastic. So that's my plan over the next two days here. I got to kind of stay out of the way of everybody else working down there, but at least I'll have something to do and we can get something accomplished. Right there. We need those tires. We're going to leave the scaffolding. I don't think I need that, but I do need the tires. Well, I'm down here. I thought I'd take a quick look at the field. You can see we got some water standing around yet. I'm sure they're, yeah, plenty soft. But this is going to firm up. I think I think by the weekend we'll be able to come down here. You can see some of the tops are starting to break out of this corn. I am getting quite nervous and concerned that it is going to just break off. Yeah. doesn't take much. That's an outside row, so it's not really fair. But um, it isn't going to take much. We get a big windstorm and this corn will go down. And we don't need that, so let's get it. All right, I am going to drive by um, a couple of the other fields that we've got down here. Just look and see how much water is sitting in the end rows because I'm sure there's a substantial amount. And i got to run into town. We're right outside of Toledo here. I'm going to run into the store real quick, grab a couple of things, and then back to my garage. Yeah, that's one of our fields there. It's uh, There's water in them corners. You can't see it through the corn, but I thought it was going down a little bit. There's some doesn't actually look too bad. Yeah, sort of. It is over here for sure. And then this one over here across the road is also ours. That one should be staying a little bit better. We sprayed fungicide over there. Problem is all of it has to come out right there. And when you have to bring 100 or 140 acres to one point to get it out and it's wet, it's going to be an absolute mess. So it's what it is. This will probably be the first field of beans that we can do. It's got a little bit of sand on this field. It's a little bit lighter than the rest of them. And uh, it's not ideal, but we can park the trucks on the road and just reach across the ditch with the cart or the combine to load them. So uh, they look like really good beans. We need to get in there and get them. Friday. I'm coming for them. Friday. Okay. We're back. And um, 
actually doing something. So I got a set of scaffolding set up here in the garage. Um, basically, I've got a sub panel right here that we can run all of our circuits out of. So I ran a 12-2 uh, Romex wire there. We're going to come out of that panel up over to my switch box, which is actually going to be on the inside for the uh, lights out here. And then we're coming out of that box with a 12-3 wire going over to that door. Um, where the other switch will be a three-way and uh, then we can come out of that switch box and then go light to light all the way through so uh, Working on getting that one run across there. We're gonna come out here and go all the way across on that uh, uh, One rafter there and then then down the wall and I got to get a box. I need a Single spot box. I had a double and uh, I guess I only need one switch over there. So we're gonna run a single Had to grab a couple of electrical boxes some tools I think Dad's out here sawing up some logs. Should we go check? Training the water tanks for the year. Pumping the water out. Nope, not sawing, just moving stuff around. He's gotta cut some logs. Just moving some stuff out of the way right now to get to it. We'll come back later, check on them again. So, had to get these boxes put up where I need them and keep running some wires. What I should be doing right now is working on my seed order and firming up what varieties and everything because it's going to change from the order that I placed way back in early September and trying to figure all of that out and putting some quotes together for the customers that I talked to last week that said, yeah, put some numbers together for me. It's what I should be doing, but no, I don't want to do that. It doesn't sound like fun to me, so I'm going to work on this instead. Okay, we are making progress out of the box up down to the switch out of the switch up across here down to that switch box back up over to light one light two so on and so forth we've got 15 lights going in the garage here yeah so the lights that i bought are a um they're a tan light but they're a actually a um old work or a retrofit thing where you actually cut the hole in the drywall so we're gonna do it that way and um, then you just they have a junction box built right into them so you just leave the wires there we'll cut our hole pull the wires down make the connections stick it up in there and it's done so that's why we're just dead in the wires kind of where they need to go here something like that and then they'll be there right underneath our drywall after we hang that up so we can cut the lights in Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I've got all my light wires run. Um, ignore how crooked they are. Not that you can really see that anyway, because they're just kind of hanging all over the place. But uh, I didn't get them real straight, let's just say. But they're all close to where they need to be. You can see i got plenty of wire hanging down. Um, so that if I'm off a little bit from where the holes are going to be, uh, we'll know it. I will lay out the holes with a laser or something to make sure that they are perfect and straight. I had gone through the other day and did some measuring. We're gonna end up with three rows of five, so there's a little black mark right there. We've got another one right there, and another one right there. So those are my three rows that are gonna run uh, the length of the garage. And then there's a mark right there under that first rafter. And then they're every six and a half feet from there, the only one that's gonna give me trouble is this first one, so we're just gonna skew them out, out closer to the wall there. Um, and if it was, if I could, I would skew them that way, but where they put the attic access, there's a light that should be right there. And rather than coming that way and that way, we're just gonna move the whole row out a little bit because um, then I can at least keep them all straight and in line and. Yeah, there won't be one that's like, what happened there? So it will be fine. Now, next step is um, I need outlets for garage door openers. So they've got the uh, wires hanging there for the, the um, buttons and the eyes. And uh, we need to put a box in for those. Put another box on the other side of the rafter for uh, an electrical outlet for both garage door openers and a uh, home run back to our panel over here so uh, I'm gonna get those put in right now all right well the garage door boxes are in um, I'm trying to figure out some of the outlets and electrical stuff we want along the walls um, not because it has to go in right this second 
But like if I want a circuit of plugs on that wall, they're gonna have to go up and over and it would be a whole lot easier to do that now while I can still get there. So um, I'm just planning a little bit, trying to figure out, you know, we're gonna have a fridge out here. We gotta figure out where exactly we wanna put that. Um, but I think I can just make a, a home run wire and you know, there'll probably be an outlet down here. So if I just bring it in and bring it down and then we can go through the walls to get to another outlet under the window, one on the other wall over there. Um, same thing with this wall over here. He's got, the electrician's got that coil of wire there that is to the exterior plug. Um, but we'll probably put an outlet on the inside here. We can tie those two together. They can be on the same circuit and we'll just come up and over the top. Um, you know, if we want an outlet in that corner or whatever, and then we'll have to figure out this wall here as well. That one with the insulation is a little bit trickier, um, but it might be just as easy to, to come around the corner and go through it and then come over the top. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll figure all this out somehow. Yep, look at my fancy, as cheap as I could find drywall lift that I bought today. Rylan's here. Mama and Brayson will be here in a minute. He's uh, found his sword and is trying to hit all of the stuff from the ceiling. Hey Rylan, tell everybody how your first day of, what did you do today different at school? Two what? Recesses. Two recesses. Why did you get two recesses? Because. Because you went what? Because we went all day. All day. He's going to all day preschool now. Today was the first day of that. Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah. That was incredibly difficult with one hand. Okay, you got it? I need you to pull it. Pull, pull, pull. Pull. Pull hard. Ugh, it's stuck. There it goes, keep pulling. Okay, go over by the, the yellow thing. Okay, I think that might be enough. Through that one, we're just gonna parallel that one all the way across. All right, well, I ran another wire from the box over to that wall and I should be good on all the electrical stuff now. Um, we're gonna add more plugs, but I think I can go sideways through the walls and stuff to get to where I need to go. So I'm ready to put drywall on the ceiling. A lot of it's gonna be pretty easy. Just throw big sheets up and go. Um, but I will have to work around those electrical boxes and the, the garage door hangers at some point. Um, hopefully they are relatively close to an edge and not in the middle and yeah. Anyway, we'll get there. Um, my lift works. I got a sheet up there, which is probably not the best place to leave it set, but we're going to leave it set right there because I don't have the, 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 yeah, I don't have the tools to hang it and my boys are here and it's kind of dangerous. So we're just gonna leave it there and head back to the farm here for a little bit. Okay. I brought the boys down here to see grandpa because they hadn't seen him yet. And I specifically said as we're walking into the house, what did I say? No food. No food. And what do you both have? Food. Beef stick and cheese and an apple. <sighs> anyway, so we're going home to eat dinner. At least I am. I guess the boys already ate. Um, well, having the electrical done there today is a big deal. Um, tomorrow, I think I can get some drywall hung up on the ceiling. And uh, they're bringing my propane tank tomorrow. So we got to do a little bit of work first thing in the morning to get the pad made up for that. And uh, that should be pretty smooth sailing. I also got a couple of lights for my seed warehouse out on the barn um, to put up. So those came today. And I might try and hang those um, tomorrow. So more of that kind of stuff tomorrow. And then, uh, like I said this morning, I think probably Friday, Saturday, Sunday is our day to combine beans down to Berkey. Um, that said Thursday, maybe we can do some double crop beans up here and look around and see maybe things will be firmer. Uh, I did see one of the neighbors that's on some lighter ground, but they were combining today which is gonna get everybody riled up and fired up and ready to go. And so I'm guessing probably Wednesday we're gonna think about it. 
Looks like a costume. Yeah. What are you talking about? This apple. This apple? Yeah. Okay. Somebody messed up my mirror here. I did that. Why'd you do that? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night. Hit that like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you again tomorrow.